A new amphitheater has been dedicated in Brooklyn Center. The Centennial Civic and Veterans Memorial Amphitheater is more than an outdoor stage. It's also meant to be a gathering point for local residents and a way to honor veterans. It is a marvelous day. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? For former Mayor Myrna Kragnes and other members of a task force, it was a long labor of love that had its start after the city's centennial celebration in 2011. And once it was over, they said, well, now what do we do? We have to leave something behind. It took four and a half years of fundraising, not always easy during the recession. Well, there were times when we thought, oh my gosh, how are we going to raise that kind of money? So getting $356,000 in private donations, overcoming poor soil in the park, and getting help from the city to make up the cost shortfall was a big deal, all leading to a dedication. What so proudly we hail Veterans were front and center at a dedication ceremony Tuesday night. Thank you to all of the civic leaders and all of the veterans from Brooklyn Center here in attendance for which this amphitheater is intended to honor. It will be a place for musical events, weddings, and even theater. It's been said that the whole world is a stage, and this stage, I believe, will be a world for many to showcase their talents, their experience, to experience fear and to experience triumph. In my opinion, this is going to be a great, great community uh, builder. On one end, names are engraved on paver stones as memorial. Some of them pay tribute to veterans who have died. Others remember family members. But this is a lot more than cement and bricks. <gasps> it's more. And if you could feel the feeling of the committee, especially the committee, they worked so hard to get this. I mean, it was just a part of your heart. You knew we had to do this for the city. It was so important. Now, the amphitheater cost more than $560,000 to build. More than half of that came from private donations. The city made up the difference from its parks fund.